Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about subsets of a line. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to correctly describe and identify the subsets of a line and correctly illustrate subsets of a line. So ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng subsets of a line? What are the subsets of a line? And how do these subsets differ from one another? Before we proceed to the subsets of a line, alamin muna natin kung ano ibig sabihin ng definition. So, a definition clarifies or explains the meaning of a word or a phrase. In mathematics, a good definition is composed of two parts. The first one is the classification and the next one is the distinguishing characteristics. Example, a line segment it's a blank, that blank. So we are attempting to define what a line segment here, okay? What a line segment is. So on the first blank, we fill this in with the classification. So you have to classify the line segment. What is a line segment? Anong classification niya? So a line segment is a part of a line or a line segment is a subset of a line that blank. So you have to fill this in with the distinguishing characteristic. So how does it differ from the other? So anong kaibahan niya dun sa iba pang subsets ng line? Okay, so that's how we define a word or a phrase um, in mathematics. The first subset of a line is array. But before we proceed to the definition of array, let's recall first that a line has no endpoints because it continues to both sides in both directions, going to right and to the left. So a line has no endpoint. It goes forever. But when we say array, it is a subset of a line which has one endpoint and continues on one side. Okay, again, array, itong definition niya, array is a subset of a line, that's the classification, and the distinguishing characteristic is that it has one endpoint and continues on one side. In naming array, we start from the endpoint. Uh, remember this, when we name array, we start from the endpoint. Example, in the figure here, the portion of the line inside the orange box, this one, is what we call array. Okay? It starts with the endpoint D, and on the other side, it continues to the right. Let's take a closer look. So, this refers to the portion from point D. We have this one right here. We have point D to point E. We call this ray DE. So this is the symbol. This is how we write ray DE. So we have the capital letters that stands for the points. We have point D and point E. And above, above those capital letters, we draw a line that has only one arrowhead going to the right. Okay? So one direction. So end point and it goes to the right direction goes to the right. The next subset is what we call the line segment. Let's define line segment. Line segment is a subset of a line which has two endpoints. Okay, two endpoints. And all the points in between its endpoints are collinear. Okay, collinear. Example, in this figure, the portion of the line inside the orange box is what we call the line segment. Actually, we can form a lot of line segments here from this line. We have points A, B, C, D, and E. Let's take a closer look at this part. So we have here point B as the first endpoint, and the second endpoint is point D. So we can call this as line segment BD or line segment DB. Okay, they mean the same thing, kahit na balik tarin ano, because they are endpoints from from point B to point D. This is a line segment BD, or from point D to point B, it's the same line segment. All right, we can also have for this portion right here, we can have line segment AB. For this one, we can have line segment BC. For this, we have from point C to point E. Uh, this is line segment CE, and so on. Okay? 
Now, let's talk about relationship between lines. First one, we have the parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines in the same plane that never meet. Okay, They will never meet no matter how you extend them. Even if you extend them forever, those lines never meet. It is indicated by the symbol this. Okay, yung parang dalawang straight na line, ano? Dalawang straight line. Example, the same number we have this one. We have line G and line H. Okay, by the way, we can also name a line using small letters. Okay, small letters um, for the line. That's the name of the line itself. Huh? Um, these letters, yung small letters na ito, these are not points on the line. This is the name of the line itself. Okay? So, the same number of arrow marks indicates that the two lines are parallel. So, we have here arrow marks. We have one arrow mark here and uh, one right here for line H. So, one and one meaning they are parallel. In the given figure at the right, we say that line G is parallel to line H. This is read as line G is parallel to line H. So, this means that lines G and H are parallel. Okay? Another one, we have what we call perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines. These are lines that meet at 90 degrees or 90 degree angles. Okay, 90 degree angles. It is indicated by the symbol, parang inverted na T yung symbol niya, no? So, example, we have here line M and line L. This line M and line L, they intersect. And their intersection, um, we at their intersection, we see here a small square indicating that the measure of this angle is 90 degrees. Okay? And so, therefore, the intersection formed a 90-degree angle. So, we can say that line M is perpendicular to line L. So, we have that in symbols. We say line M is perpendicular to line L. This means that um, the two lines, line M and line L, are perpendicular. Next, we have what we call the midpoint, midpoint or the middle point, midpoint. The midpoint is a point at the exact middle of two other points and divides the segment into two equal segments. Example, in the given figure, in the given line segment here, point V, we have here point V is in between points L and B. The same number of tick marks is uh, in line segment LV. Ito, may isang line tayo dito, or isang, isang mark. And uh, we also have uh, one mark right here. It indicates that the two segments have the same measurement. So, from point L to point V, the same ang length nila from point V to point B the same ang length. So, yun ang ibig sabihin ng mark na ito. Okay? Indicating that they are equal in measurements and so point V is the midpoint. Okay? The middle point of point L and point B. Okay? Again, that's midpoint. Hinati yung line segment into two equal parts. Let's try this. Name a ray and a line segment shown in the figure. Use proper notation. So, we have this figure right here. We have point Q, point R, and point S. Okay, let's name a ray and a line segment. So, you can have several rays and line segments in the figure. Um, if we consider only the points, we can have three line segments. So, we have uh, line segment QR. So, this part right here. Uh, we can also have line segment RS from point R to point S. Okay, We can also have line segment QS so point, from point Q to point S. So, that's line segment QS. Note that changing the order of the letters in naming a segment will still mean the same segment. So, if we have line segment QR, that is the same as line segment RQ. Okay, The same lang yan sila. 
uh, we have line segment RS is the same with line segment SR. Kahit na balik ta rin, the same line segment lang yan. Okay? For array naman, um, if we consider every pair of a point and an arrowhead, we can have six rays here in this figure. We have uh, ray QR. So, yung end point niya, uh, end point R, uh, ang Q. And then, uh, yung side na mag-continue would be yung R. Side ng R. So, we can have ray QR going to the right. Uh, we can also have ray QS. Okay, ito yung symbol niya o oh, yung isang arrowhead lang ha. Um, ray QS. So, ang end point ang Q and then it goes to the right dun sa S. We can also have ray RS. So, yung end point ay uh, R and it goes to the right no? pat dun sa S. We can have um, ray RQ. Ray RQ. Okay. Yung end point naman, yung R. And it goes to the left, going to point Q. Okay? Um, notice, yung sa line segment kanina, pag binaliktad natin, pareho lang sila. But it's not the same with the ray. Kasi yung ray, isang end point lang. And we start at the end point, and yung the other side would be continuous. Okay? It continues on the other side. So, here... Uh, yung ray QR goes to the right because we start at the end point to the right. But ray RQ is different. It's a different ray because we start at end point R and then we go to the left, okay, to point Q. So, ray QR is different with ray, is different from ray RQ, okay? So, we also have ray SR. So, from Point S, yung end point, and then going to the left towards point R. Okay? We also have ray SQ, yung end point niya, yung S, and going to the left to the point, to point Q. Right? So, we have six rays that we can form from this figure. Another example, illustrate points A, B, C, and D, where point C is the midpoint of segment AB, and point B is the mid midpoint of line segment CD. How is that? So, we have here, um, we draw a line segment. Okay, so we have segment AB, right, segment EB. And since C should be the midpoint of segment AB, lagay natin si point C dito sa gitna. Okay? Sa middle ng point A at saka B. Ayan. And then sabi niya, point B is the midpoint of line segment CD. We have here line segment CD. Okay? Yung, na, yung midpoint niya, yung nasa gitna, yun ang point B. Okay? So this is the figure that we formed.